Hey, what's up, my anime lovers and you awesome people that are doing well today? This is yours truly, that anime guy, and I will be telling you guys this is a different video. I know you guys is probably freaking out, saying, "What are you looking at?" This is an Apple TV interface, and I'm going to show you a demonstration of Crunchyroll for Apple TV, which is the latest update. If you guys don't see Crunchyroll on your Apple TV, be sure to check out the settings and be sure you have the latest update. So let me scroll down to Crunchyroll. And guys, just to let you know, Crunchyroll is not for free. It does give you two weeks free for, you know, for a membership, but for a full-time basically membership, you are going to be paying $6.99 if you want to pay the cheapest just to watch anime but if you want to watch more you are going to be paying much more I know a lot of you guys don't like don't really want to pay you want to watch things for free but I'm just doing it to support you know the anime industry basically if you go to Crunchyroll and that is the main menu but guys before I begin I would like to say guys be sure to check out the video description because I will have a link that takes you to Amazon for those cool wonderful product that I'm using to capture this wonderful quality from my TV which is providing 720p and that is the Agato Game Capture HD an awesome product if you want to record gameplay and more and post it onto YouTube so that is how this magic is happening but guys I'm just letting you know the product isn't not so it's not so cheap but I think it's a reasonable price I would say so in the main menu of Crunchyroll when it comes to watching on your Apple TV you have your feature shows and when it comes to anime and drama and these are Asian dramas or Korean dramas um, I would say if you want to pay a higher fee you will get more Asian dramas, which I'm not really into, but I'm thinking about paying it, paying more. But at the same time, I'm mostly into anime. And then you have my queue. Now my queue is is basically, you know, to put it in easier terms, <laughs> if you have a favorite anime episode or favorite anime series you go add this to my queue to each anime series that you want to take a look at but you don't have time and will save it because as long as you have a membership to the website you are able to log on with your you know with your password and your name basically from your account because this is my account I'm using so these are the anime shows that I've been you know looking at and I like a lot and let me go to anime. And sometimes it takes a little while to access. It, it, it all depends on your internet connection, guys. You have your popular, your sin mill cast, recently updated, your genres, seasons, and all shows. Now Crunchyroll, um, Crunchyroll doesn't have every single anime series you know because when it comes to Crunchyroll it all depends on you know the anime season but it doesn't never never really have a hundred percent of the new anime series that comes out I would say maybe it miss about two or three of them but here's the seasons right here it goes from summer 2014 to winter 2009 and let's take a look at summer 2014 and that's a new anime series that I know you guys are really thrilled and really happy about, Sailor Moon. And actually, I should have added that to my queue, actually. <laughs> Genros, and you go, um, you have your action, adventure, comedy, and it goes all the way down to sports. Recently updated, that means that basically new anime series anime um, shows that has a new episode and more so it's pretty cool um, how it keeps you up to date so something that you won't miss simil cast I really don't mess with too much with simil cast so that's why I really don't know too much about it so we are going to basically skip that <laughs> and then you have your popular anime shows which a, a lot of people from um, that has a membership or a free membership for the meantime on um, Crunchyroll 
that is watching a certain anime series. Guys, before I show you the search and the settings, here is an example which hopefully you guys enjoy. But unfortunately, I was not able to capture the beautiful quality of 720p as you see in the streaming right now, which I'm showing you guys. Because when it comes to Apple TV and having the playback, you need a special device to be able to do that. Because only for some reason, Apple TV gives some type of error message which I just found out today. So hopefully, you know, I will be able to buy it and show you guys one day. And then you have the search. And then you have your settings. You have your sign out, support, term and use, privacy, policy, building, building product, um, policy, clear viewing history and more. And you guys see I'm signing in. But other than that, guys, it's really simple, really straightforward. So hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. Or if you want to see more videos like this in the future when it comes to tech and anime. And guys, be sure to check out my last video, which was anime news. It will really mean a lot to me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode.